Hello, I'm Robert Bilo with Citation Customer Support Pilot Services. This video will provide instructions for basic operation of Cessna's Electronic Operating Manual, the EOM, for en route performance calculations on a Windows platform. We assume that you already have the EOM successfully installed. However, for further assistance, please watch our Windows Cessnav basic installation video. This is the fourth in a series of instructional videos that were produced in 2010 by Collier Burbach, who spent six years with pilot services before moving to engineering. This video is also available on Cessnasupport.com's Cessnav support pages and on Cessnav CD-ROMs. The other three videos in this Windows Cessnav tutorial set are Windows Cessnav, basic installation of all three calculators, Windows Cessnav, Citation Performance Calculator, CPCalc, and Windows Cessnav, CLCalc, Weight and Balance basic operation. And now, here is Windows Cessnav, Electronic Operating Manual for en route performance basic operation. The Electronic Operating Manual is the CessNav application used to determine time, distance, and fuel for a particular trip. During the course of this video, you may see pop-ups appear. These pop-ups will show you differences between various versions of the Electronic Operating Manual. When you first start the EOM, verify the airport database effectivity dates. First, let's review a few of the tools available in the EOM. When you select File and Performance Tables, you can view a PDF copy of the Flight Planning and Performance Handbook. Now select Tools and Rate of Climb Calculator. The rate of climb calculator allows you to determine multi-engine gross climb gradients based on specific conditions. You may also apply a banked climb reduction up to 15 degrees. Next select options and use gear down drag. This option will apply gear down drag performance to your time distance and fuel. The option for cost structure will be discussed later in this module when we cover green track. To begin our flight plan, click on the planning tab. You will have the option of entering a mission profile or creating a simple flight. If you select simple flight, you will only be required to enter the takeoff altitude and the total distance of the trip. If you select create mission profile, you may enter airports, nav aids, and waypoints as necessary to define your trip. For this example, we will depart Wichita Midcontinent Airport and arrive San Antonio International Airport. I also want to add a nav aid with the identifier Papa Echo Romeo. Since there is more than one match, select Refine and pick the correct waypoint. Now reposition in the waypoint in between the two airports. You may also create custom waypoints by clicking the user defined button. Here you can create a custom airport, nav aid, or waypoint using your specific information. Click the save button to save it to the database. You can also use the search feature to find a location. Select the location type, enter the country, and either the name or city name. Then specify a search radius and a minimum runway length if desired. The user can select between Great Circle Navigation and Constant True Course. Now select the Map tab. You may turn on icons and identifiers 
for airports, nav aids, and waypoints using the options menu. You can zoom in and out on the map to view nav aids around your location. Click the select button, right click on a location, and select add to path. When you select add to path, the waypoint will then be added to the trip definition. Now select the conditions page. Here we can modify our cruise altitude if necessary, then select our cruise thrust setting. You have the option of using max cruise, long range cruise, constant Mach, constant airspeed, or cost index. Cost index relates to the green track function which will be discussed later in this module. We may then also set our winds aloft information including ISA deviation. For this example we will use ISA plus 5 and set a tailwind of 20 knots. We will then specify our climb profile as well as our descent rate. Now click on the More Options button. On the More Options page which we can adjust taxi and takeoff fuel, approach parameters, holding time, Reserve fuel. For this example, we will use 1200 pounds. We can also enable a speed restriction such as 250 knots below 10,000 feet and specify a minimum rate of climb. Now click the Basic Options button to return to the previous page. Finally, select Performance. The Performance page will show our inputs as well as our mission performance including time, distance, taxi and takeoff fuel, mission fuel, reserve fuel, and total fuel. If we have a step climb, the intermediate altitude will be displayed as well as the weight to burn down to before proceeding on. The schedules below show speed versus altitude for climb and descent and power versus weight for cruise. Now select the Breakdown tab. The Breakdown page will show you time, distance, and fuel for each segment of flight. It will also show you your CO2 emissions in kilograms, as well as your Great Circle distance in nautical miles, and your EU ETS distance in kilometers. This distance does include the required 95 kilometer buffer. Now let's look at individual segment calculators. First, click on the Climb tab. On this page you will enter all of the same inputs you used on the planning page. Once all inputs have been selected, click on the Climb Performance page. This page will show you time, distance, and fuel. Now select the Cruise page. On this page we will enter our altitude, weight, ISA deviation, headwind or tailwind component, and specify whether anti-ice is on or off and whether we want to determine multi or single engine crews. For this example, we wish to determine single engine crews at 25,000 feet. Now select the Limitations tab. We will then specify our cruise thrust setting and select Performance. This page will display our RAT, fan speed, indicated airspeed, Mach, true airspeed, specific range, and fuel flow. Now select the descent page. Here we will enter cruise altitude, approach altitude, initial weight, descent rate, and our winds aloft conditions. Now select the performance tab. The page will show time, distance, and fuel for the descent. If we choose to display single engine drift down data, the program will show time, distance, fuel, as well as final weight and final altitude. The green track function will determine a customized climb, cruise, and descent profile resulting in minimum total cost. To begin, select Options menu and Cost Structure. 
Here the user will enter direct operating costs per hour excluding fuel. This may include any value that is based on per hour usage of the aircraft. For this example, we will use $560 per hour. Now enter the cost of fuel per gallon. If the user is subject to emissions tax, enter the value per ton of CO2. For this example, our cost index is equal to 8. Cost index is the direct operating cost divided by the cost of fuel per 100 pounds. Now click Accept. When using cost index, create your mission profile as normal. On the conditions page, select cost index below max cruise thrust. The index value will default to the value just calculated. It will also set your climb to cost index climb. You may minimize any step climbs. When you click performance, the program may take longer to calculate than normal. A customized profile will be created, including specific climb, cruise, and descent. Now select the breakdown tab. The program will show you a total trip cost, which is the minimum total cost for this trip. This concludes the module on the green track function. Thank you, Collier. For questions regarding Cessnav subscription purchase, renewal, disk replacement, annual subscription code, or login credentials for the iPad versions, please call Technical Publications at 316-517-5800 or email techpubs at customercare at txtav.com. If you are having any functional issue with the Cessnav apps, please call our pilot services team at 316-517-7717 or email us at cessnav at txtav.com. We sincerely hope that this video is useful. From everyone on the Cessnav team, thanks for watching. Happy landings.